It's been a while since I've done a video talking about PWCC. Over the past few months, they've been quietly issuing refunds to collectors who bought altered cards from them. Brent Higgins has reportedly been cooperating with the FBI, all while continuing to sell sports cards on eBay. In terms of altered cards, more continue to get outed on Blowout on a near-daily basis. These have been linked back to familiar card doctors like Gary Moser and Card Buyer, both of whom I've done videos on in the past. And there are new faces among the card doctors. One most recently has been former NFL player Evan Mathis. I'll link a thread below so you can read about what he's been up to since he retired. Another is Johnny Adams Jr. He's been reportedly buying and selling cards since 1965 and active on eBay for the past 20 years. There's a whole thread devoted to him on Blowout as well, exposing dozens of cards we know he's trimmed between 2014 and December 2018. His M.O. is to buy previously graded cards, usually from PWCC or Probstein 123, either alter them or crack them out and resubmit, and get higher grades from PSA. He seems to always sell his cards through PWCC. Recently, Super Dan on Blowout was able to show how this process works and the central role that PWCC took to coordinate the submission and later selling of trim cards. Far from being a dupe victim of the card doctors, Brenton Higgins was a central figure in submitting orders to PSA on behalf of multiple card doctors who used his company as a front to anonymously sell their altered cardboard. Super Dan and the other detectives on Blowout were able to recreate submission records to PSA from PWCC, meaning cards PWCC sent in to get graded. These submissions contain known altered cards, and some of the cards in question can be traced back to Gary Moser, Card Buyer, and Johnny Adams Jr., all in the same order. Originally, it was believed that Moser may have acted alone or had PWCC just submit his cards for him. Now, it appears that PWCC was wholesaling this operation, sending in cards from multiple card doctors simultaneously. Let's look at this in more detail. Here's a 1960 Bob Gibson that was altered from an 8 to a 9 by Johnny Adams Jr. The certification number of the 9 is only 6 away from this card, a 1967 Tony Perez. The Perez card has been trimmed from an 8 to a 9 and has been traced back to Card Buyer. Same PWCC order, two different card doctors. Here's the submission list for this order, 52 cards. The cards in bold have also been outed as trimmed or altered. There are others in this order that have also been linked back to Card Buyer and Johnny Adams Jr. Here's another PWCC order, 185 cards from 2017. The bold cards have also been outed on Blowout as being altered, and this order has cards from both Johnny Adams Jr. and Gary Moser in it. Let's look at two of them. Card 27755467 is a look and see Leif Erickson that was altered from a 7 to a 9 and attributed to Gary Moser. Three certification numbers later is a 1954 Bowman Les Moss trimmed by Johnny Adams Jr., all part of the same PWCC order. Finally, I've got this card to illustrate more how PWCC played the game with PSA. This 1955 Topps All-American card was sold as a PSA 6.5 in 2016 for $351. Gary Moser bought it. Then it was cracked out of its case and sent back to PSA where it got a 2.5 grade bump to a PSA 9. PwC sold it again in July 2018 for $3,800. Two things stand out about this card that again make me wonder how closely PwCC and PSA work together. First, look at these two pictures. I'll post links below so you can blow them up on your screen. There's no discernible difference between the two cards. The card fits in each case the same, so it hasn't been trimmed. And second, look at the shoulder of the player on the right. That's a huge ink splotch, a print defect. How did that get a 9 from PSA? PSA loves to say, let us turn your cardboard into gold. You have to wonder how deep that ran with PWCC. There's still so many unanswered questions regarding the depth of these altered cards and who is working with whom. Let's hope we get some answers when the FBI investigation wraps up. Anyway, special thanks to 312, Corndog, Super Dan, and the rest of the guys on Blowout for revealing these altered cards and the relationships among the bad guys. Thanks for watching, and consider subscribing if you like this type of content. Hey guys, before I go, I want to tell you about a few channels that I think are worth your attention. All of these guys have less than a thousand subscribers. They produce some really quality content, and they're channels that I enjoy regularly watching. I would encourage you to give them a try. Down below in the description box is a link to each of their channels. Take a look.